Next, we are going to cover the Bluetooth programming with Java language. Let's start with the device discovery section. As in the previous sections, let us start with device discovery using JSR82 API. The process of device discovery can be break down into five stages. Stage 1. Get a reference to the singleton instance of local device. A local Bluetooth adapter is represented by the local device class. JSR82 assumes that there is only one local Bluetooth adapter, and the singleton instance of this adapter is retrieved by invoking the static method, get local device. Stage 2. Get a reference to the discovery agent of the local device. Discovery agent is mainly responsible for device inquiries and service discovery protocol searches. Stage 3. Use the discovery agent to start a device discovery via its start inquiry method. Start inquiry method initiates the device inquiry and returns immediately. Detected devices and the rest of the inquiry are handled by two callback methods named device discovered and inquiry complete. Stage 4. Each time a device is detected, the device discovered method of the discovery listener is invoked, with the details of the detected device as parameters. Stage 5. When the device discovery has finished, the inquiry complete method of the discovery listener is invoked. pulling information from the information points and not based on the object push model that is using limited way to date. Under technology management enables the automatic configuration of the PicoNet topologies, especially in scattered situations are uh, become more common today. This should be invisible to user of the topology or technology while also making the technology just work. Quality of service improvements enable audio and video data to transmit at a higher quality, especially when best effort traffic is being transmitted in the same PICONET. USB for AMP. This high speed AMP feature of Bluetooth version 3 is based on 802.11 but the AMP mechanism was designed to be use, usable with other radio radios as well. It was originally intended for UWA but Y Media Alliance the body responsible for the flavor of UW, UWB intent for Bluetooth announced in March 2009 that it was disabled. On March 2009, the Y Media Alliance announced it was entering into technology transfer agreements for Y Media Ultra Wide Band UWB specifications. Y Media has transferred all current and future specifications, including work on future high speed power optimized, optimized implementation to the Bluetooth, to the Bluetooth special interest group, wireless prompter group and the USB implement form. After the successful completion of the technology transfer, 
marketing and related administrative items. The Y Media Alliance will case operations. A small but significant number of former Y Media numbers had not and would not sign up to the necessary agreement for the IP transfer. The Bluetooth SIG is now in the process of evaluating other options for its longer term project. Next we will teach you how to establish a RF COM connection using JSR82. Now let us see how a RF COM connection can be obtained using JSR82 API. In this example we have a server device and a client device. The server waits for a connection and prints whatever the data it has received. The client on the other hand, connects with the server and sends a short message. First of all, you need to create a connection URL which includes details about the server and the service we intend to use. Then we obtain a stream connection notifier type object using the open static method of connector class. A stream connection notifier is similar to the listening port that we have created in other languages. Then the program waits for and accepts an incoming connection using the accept and open method of the instantiated stream connection notifier object. The method accept and open blocks and waits for an incoming connection when a new connection has been accepted and established, it returns a stream connection object that can be used to exchange data with the remote Bluetooth device. Then we have to use the stream connection object in order to obtain an output stream object and an input stream object. These two objects are used to send and receive data across the connection, respectively. Let us take a look at the client code. The client is also using the same mechanism to obtain a socket connection to the server. Then, the client uses the output stream and input stream objects to send and receive data across the connection.